welcome to the Nobel Prize Museum. I'm going to give you a short tour of this fantastic museum and I'm going to tell you something about Alfred Nobel, the founder of the Nobel Prize. I'm going to show you some of the objects that the Nobel Prize laureates have given to the museum. And I will also show you our new exhibition, which is about the Nobel Banquet. And here at the museum, we have something in the ceiling and it's actually all the Nobel laureates hanging there and it's adding up every year we get new Nobel laureates so they are hanging here and this museum is about the work of the Nobel Prize laureates and uh, the Nobel Prize has been awarded since 1901 and it's given out in six categories five original categories it's medicine, physics, chemistry, literature, and peace. And then the Swedish uh, National Bank, they founded a prize, prize in economic sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel. So let's take a tour of the Nobel Prize Museum. Welcome. Alfred Nobel was a Swedish inventor and businessman, very famous for two different things, for inventing the dynamite, and for founding the Nobel Prize. Alfred, he never got married and he didn't have any kids, so he wrote a will. And in his will, he wrote that all his things would be sold and he wanted to establish a prize for the greatest benefit to humankind. And uh, when you get the Nobel Prize, you obviously you get a gold medal looking like this and you get a lot of money. You get uh, 10 million Swedish kroner, which is about one million dollar. And uh, in some of the categories it can be shared between two or three laureates, so maybe you don't get the full 10 million kroner. And you also get a nice diploma, looking like this, but each Nobel laureate actually gets their own diploma that is specially made for them. Now I'm going to show you some of the objects that the Nobel Prize laureates has donated to our museum. Here at the Nobel Prize Museum we have quite unusual objects for being a museum because we have received gifts from the Nobel Prize laureates and we use the objects to tell their stories. So here we have a key from physics laureate Didier Kilo. It's the key to the observatory where he made some of his discoveries. We have the notebook of the famous writer Olga Tokarczuk that received the Nobel Prize in Literature. And we have three books for children that we have received from economics laureate Esther Duflo. And these books were used in a project about teaching at the right level. So it's a project where they have like, done research on how to fight poverty and using science to study which ways are the best ways to erase poverty. And if you follow me over here, we're going to take a look at some more objects. Many of the Nobel Prize laureates have been interested in science since they were kids, and one of them is Randy Shekman. When he was a kid, he saved all his money to buy a microscope. But his parents kept borrowing money from his piggy bank. And one day, the police called his parents. And the policeman said, so we have Randy here. And Randy was 12 years at the time. And his parents were shocked and said, why, why, what has he done? And uh, the policeman said, yeah, well, he has reported you to the police for stealing his money. So his parents went down to the police station, picked up Randy, and they went right off to buy a microscope for Randy Sheckman. And this is the actual microscope that they bought that time. He donated it to the Nobel Prize Museum. We have so many objects here and I would love to show you all of them, but you have to come here. Then you can see the shawl that Malala wore when she was addressing the United Nations and many more objects. 
And now I'm going to show you a little bit of our new exhibition about the Nobel Banquet. So come on, let's go. Every year in October, all the new Nobel Prizes are announced. And in December, the new Nobel laureates arrive to Stockholm to receive the prize. Except for the Peace laureates, because the Peace Prize is awarded from Norway in Oslo. We are now standing in our new exhibition that is about the Nobel Banquet and the ceremonies to celebrate the new Nobel laureates. In the Stockholm Concert Hall, the prizes are awarded to the new laureates by His Majesty the King. And after that, it's a party to celebrate the new Nobel laureates in the Stockholm City Hall. And behind me here, we can see some of the dresses that are, have been worn at the party. So it was the Minister of Culture that was wearing this dress. Alice Barkunke, and uh, the dress is symbolizing the melting ices in the Arctic region. And this dress was also worn by a minister, and it symbolizes the forest fires and climate change. So you can also wear a dress that gives out a message. And to arrange a party for Nobel laureates, for royalties, for politicians, scientists, and peace activists, you need to really do your preparations. And here we can see a picture of one of my colleagues that is doing the placement at the table for all these guests. The Nobel banquet is more than a party. It's a way of celebrating groundbreaking science efforts for peace, fantastic literature, and the Nobel Prize laureate's achievements. And in Sweden, many people follow this on national TV. So it is a party where everybody is invited. And you are all invited to come to our museum in Stockholm, Sweden. So welcome to the Nobel Prize Museum. Hope to see you soon.